We just had a very cute episode of lovebirds getting eternal love accessories for each other. Technically, only Stark got it for Fern. Freedon's also call back to Himel's ring, the whole him getting in one knee and giving her the ring. Very smooth. And Zyne, a very refreshing addition to the team that just like adds a different spice to the dynamic so that not everyone's just like, it's not like three kids just fucking leading each other on. Because Freedon, even though she's old as fuck, she, she might as well be emotionally stunted. So Zyne is a nice addition to the party. Let's find out what's going to happen in today's reaction. Head to Fern. Oh, sorry, Freedon. I thought I was coming from a mile away. <laughs> Couple years now? How many? Four years. Wonder how long Zine will be with us. A grown up? A grown up. Oh, in terms of like strategic formation? We got a warrior? We got a, a thief? Rogue class? Yeah, maybe. Mimic fan service. They're just used to show her ass sticking up with their feet. Oh, a what? What are we missing? Are we gonna get a MILF? <laughs> I'd be down to get a new party member who's a MILF. He really wants one. She's not the same. What's that lolly archetype? It's like a granny lolly. Maybe there's a MILF in this village, guys. Go MILF hunting. Is it a MILF? <gasps> Older lady! What? Never mind, it's just impoverished people. <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> Holy shit, they're all dying. Are the demons around? Who attacked this village? Oh. Just gonna skip this village? <laughs> she almost was ready to dip! Okay, a curse. This is a new term. Like, what is a curse in this show? It just puts people to sleep or petrifies them. Interesting. Monsters or demons can use magic like that to put people to sleep or petrification. Well, Zine is probably Zine is probably genius. He can probably fix it. Magic of humans and magic of the goddess is totally different. Yeah, I didn't realize there's a big difference between the goddess's magic and human magic. It's like completely different unknown realm. I, I find it very interesting. If only you could decipher the language. That's like a territory of magic, a subcategory that you just don't know anything about. It's cool that they're actually explaining us the difference between a mage and like a priest. Different type of magic. Relax, relax. If we just kill the monster, the curse gets lifted. Alright, we might get some more action this episode. Stark? Stark? He actually did get affected! Wait, it wasn't a joke! I feel bad now. <laughs> Floating him. <laughs> it's always so funny to me whenever they float people like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is she getting cursed too? Fern? Or are you just sleepy? Ah, shit. Both the kids are out. But it's okay. Zine has like resistance and freedom. Hopefully, she'll be okay. They look very cute together, bundled up. Wake me? You're going out too? What? Don't fight it alone as I fucking pass out. What are you doing, bro? So, can he fight it alone? We have to wake her up, and in five seconds, she needs to cast the spell immediately. Okay, here comes the monster. Oh? Zayn, really? Can you? Now, in different types of animes, H animes, these kind of plant monsters will be using their tentacles and doing all sorts of stuff to Freedon. That's not the only thing it'll sap away in those kind of animes. Zion's really gonna solo this? Maybe he has like fire magic. What do you got? Three spears of the goddess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he did say he had battle magic. That was kind of cool. Just wake up for five seconds and she'll use a beam. Yeah, five seconds and she'll go boom. Just wake her up. Beam attack. Boom. Hmm? Okay, hide her flashback. Oh, it's Zion and his friends again. Just trust her? I mean, she said, don't fight alone. Wake me up if the demon is near to the monster. Alright, no strategy, just belief, just hope. 
Yeah, yeah, she did say it and wake me up. I promise I'll defeat it. All right, five seconds, freedom. Go, go, go. Boom. Already shot it, right? Easy. Oh, wait. Damn, because she didn't even go straight in. She direct redirected the magic spell. Five seconds, she, she knew it immediately. Quite impressive. Quite impressive. Got it. He's not going to be like, Ew, she's beside me. No, I don't think he's like that. Is there a MILF in the village, though? Any older ladies that want to join us? She's an older lady? Wait, wait, wait. This is perfect. Yeah. Lots of them abandoned the party. Just stay in this village now. He was pretty happy about that. That's the, that was a MILF, dude. Yeah, Zion was actually really clutched there. The fuck? Oh, head pads. Her fucking ruthless head pads. Yeah, she was. We should go back for her. Okay, new town. Man, there's so many different villages and towns we visited, huh? Okay, halfway there. Oh, give me some money. Huh? Who the fuck are you? They look rich. They look rich, rich. He is a capable warrior. You want to hire him. Money. We need money. Mercenary. Pimp him out. Let's go. Easy. Easy money incoming. Lord Orden. Oh, they probably met in the past. Or maybe... Yeah. So she knew the grandfather. You can't just steal him, but you can hire him for a bit. <laughs> Do you need your mama, Stark? <laughs> this guy's kind of funny. How much? No, we need money. That's not that. You should not have done that. You should show your hands. You literally just showed them how desperate you are. Ah, shit. She can lowball. They can lowball us now with the amount of money. The art of the deal, guys. Nah, you should have just said, we don't need you. We should have just walked out and then be like, wait, hold up. I'll pay you all the money you request. And then boom, we fucking milk him. Wait, what? Even the hair color is a bit. I mean, it's red-ish. I mean, his brother had his hair slicked back, but he doesn't look just. He doesn't look identical. Only the hairstyle. W wait, do, do you want Stark to be your new son? No, wait, wait. I thought you wanted to hire him as a warrior. So you want him to act like he's not dead? Like what? Okay, in order to remain team morale, we need to have Stark slick his hair back and be like, hey, I'm still alive, guys. We need the money. You need to pimp you out. <laughs> this isn't prostitution, but it almost kind of feels the same. He's got to learn how to do horseback riding, all this different noble shit. He probably has to learn how to dance. Yeah, probably has to learn how to fucking eat with like 10 different forks and knives. And they're eating good. Look how happy Fern is. Stark has to do all this shit. Frieden and Fern are just fucking living it up. Not too good. Maybe he'll be able to do something really cool to Fern. I don't know. Go on a dance. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Good. That was smooth. <laughs> I mean, he's a little rough around the edges, but having him be more polished like this is pretty cool. I think she liked that. No, no, no. Look, look, look. She's like, hold huh? <laughs> you gotta call me Papa. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay, Papa. It's a little weird for sure. It's, it's kind of weird here. I don't know. As long as we're getting paid, fuck it. His name is Mutt. I, I know you called him Muto. His name is literally Mutt. <laughs> Wait, that's how Stark was treated. Oh no. You gotta be a big bro to him now. Maybe the family technique will be actually really useful in combat. I mean, he uses axes more. Wait, why is he trembling? Oh, did he just remember the PTSD from getting shit on back home when he was training with the sword? Yeah. He's a fucking useless son. <laughs> Maybe he's not that mean. But... Okay, he's not as mean as Stark's actual dad. Wow! Dude, this dad is so much better! Yeah! Wow! Really? Oh, he's actually being too nice to him! 
Yo, Baron is eating so many fucking donuts. It's just fucking snacking so hard. So she'll be the date of that dance? Yeah, your mama wanna go instead. First, we had Frieda and burgers. Now we got Frieda and donuts. Let's go, Fern. Wow. No. No. No touching donuts like that. She fits the role really well. I don't know. I could totally see her as like a noble princess. She's a little rough around the edges too, though, huh? That's so awkward that you have to handhold a fucking butler like that and just fucking dance with an old man. I'm sure he's nice. Okay, one month of training has passed. Yeah, we need the money, kids. Come on. <laughs> Mommy's too busy eating donuts. She's pimping her kids out. Come on, bring me the money. Oh. Milady. Perhaps we should go on a dance. Let's see, the month of training. Hopefully no one steps on each other's foot. Mushoku Tensei also had a dance scene like this, I think. And recently, Mahoka Season 1 also did, too. I think Farron actually looks very impressed. She's even smiling now. So doing this will improve team morale? Okay. The dancing is so... That looks a little bit CGI, I'm not sure. The animation there was really good though. I don't know, it looked very fluid. Something looks a little different. Maybe I'm crazy. And Frida is too busy eating more <laughs> dessert. No, I'm eating cake. <laughs> Base. Frida actually is quite relatable and very likable like that. Even just like, nah, I'm just gonna eat cake. Stuff like that is why people love her so much. We're done. Our contract is over. Now give me that money. Damn, three months passed just like that, huh? Yeah, it's a little, ugh. We need to move on, man. Yeah, you're not my papa. And Furiden is not my mama either. Doesn't have a home. I think home is with Furiden in the party. That's the worst way to fucking depart. That's the last thing you said to your son before he died? Damn. There's some things you can never take back in life. Moments like that, holy shit. Wait, don't tell me... He wants to reenact that scene so that he can get closure and that Stark has to act. I know you never meant it like that, daddy. And then he'd be like, okay, it's fine. Is Aizen gonna be alive though? Is he actually gonna be alive when we come back? I don't know, man. Ooh, the credits are playing already. Yeah, which book are you gonna take? We should take the whole library. Surely we can take more than one. I think she cares about this more than the money. And he's been sitting. <laughs> he just stood here for half a day waiting. <laughs> Mutt. Or sorry, Mute. Yeah. yeah. He's training outside. Yeah, he's got another son. Just be nicer to your other son. What book did you choose? What? What, what is all this? What the? Yo, I don't know what that was at the end there, but episode 16, that was like, um, kind of teasing for the next episode, but it looks like long live friends. I don't know. It looks like next episode's gonna be pretty hype. This episode, very fun. It's going to a new royal capital. This, no, even before that, Zion had this whole, like, so long to plan. He met his mill. We saved the city, went to new town. Pimped Stark and Farron out to get money. Freedom's just busy eating fucking donuts. Had a nice ballroom dance scene with Fern and Stark. Their, their ship is still, you know, it's actually forming quite a lot. Freedom does not give a single fuck. You want to dance? Nah, I'm too busy eating cake. That was a little bit sad, you know, with the how the dad thought Stark could replace his son. But there was also a lot of weird comedy involved. Like, like you, want, you need approval from your mama and stuff like that. Sometimes the comedy from this show hits me out of nowhere. Maybe it's just me just fucking making jokes to myself. And I think it's hilarious. But sometimes I think the comedy hits pretty hard. Next episode, though, it looks pretty, um, I don't know. They're anticipating. I, I, it makes me feel very anticipated. Because the way that they ended the episode with a bunch of people talking. Long live friends. He's a long lived friend of mine. Who knows? Maybe Freedom's going to meet a familiar face. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.